So let's get on to our next little thing that I wanted to show you guys, which is going to be a really, really cool. We're getting kind of light on time, so I want to get to this as soon as I can because this is another really fun, incredible thing that we've got going on. Let's save these changes. Um, so I had a situation where I recorded some ADR with a couple of people that they, they their main job isn't to be actors. So to get the best performance out of them, the the best way to do it was to, and they had to kind of play off one another. So we had to record them together. But you might want to do some editorial later on, right? Because Jack is talking on top of John. Well, and as you can see it right here. Okay, so. He talks too much. That's the third nurse that killed this week. Why do they want 3,000 of them? Should have focused on my design. It's much better. So you can hear the. I, I thought you were two weeks behind. You can hear the the other actor on top of this one, Mike, right? And as we look at the waveforms, you can even see them. But what I want to do is, on the the one on the left, I need to make sure it's just him because I'm going to maybe do something to him. I'm going to lower his pitch. I'm going to do something. And what we've done in the past is we've used either a noise gate, or you've done it with editorial, and that doesn't always work the way that you want. So what we're going to do, and what RX6 has a new functionality where it can, it's, a, it's called de-bleed. It can take one source and remove that source from the other. So you have maybe some headphone leakage in a guitar recording, or you have two actors talking at the same time. Let's get actor B out of actor A's mic. So what we're going to do is, again, go to the RX Connect plugin. We're going to do a little different thing, though. We're going to go clip by clip versus entire selection. Send this guy over to RX, and we will now see that we have one mono file and another mono file. This being the one being our left channel, two being the right. Let's bring up our de-bleed. We're going to tell it that our source track for getting rid of the bleed is going to be the right channel, which was Pro Tools 2. We're going to ask it to learn that noise profile. It's going to go through it. Doop to do. It doesn't whistle and hum. It, that's just me. That's, that's just added for effect. So now I, it has learned what the offending audio is. Now I want to process it. So what it's doing is it's taking channel two and removing it from channel one. And I probably should have played you a, a little example. Yeah, let me play you the example beforehand. Sorry. Oh, he t oh, and we also don't have this guy going to the right spot. Oh, he talks too much. That's the third nurse they killed this week. So why do they want 3,000 of them? We're going to get rid of that. That's our idea. Running it, running the deep bleed, running the deep bleed. Some of these things do take a little bit of time, so definitely stock up on your coffee. And there we go. Oh, he talks too much. That's the third nurse they killed this week. Should have... So now let's go ahead and send that guy back to RX. Let's render him. And now what I can do, um, you guys know Elastic Audio? Any, any fans of Elastic Audio? Big fan of Elastic Audio here. Now what I want to do is let's go ahead and let's make him a chipmunk. And now we're going to move these guys down. Give me one sec. What we're going to do is now we're going to get rid of him from the right channel. So now we'll go over to Pro Tools 2. We'll tell it that our bleed source is Pro Tools 1. Let's learn it. Now let's process it. Now it's taking him out of the other channel. It's taking a couple seconds to do it. Far faster than me going through and setting up either uh, an expander or a gate or any kind of editorial that I could do for sure. So there he is. He's been taken out. Oh, he talks too much. That's the third nurse they killed this week. Why do they want 3,000 of them? He's a little bit more intense. Not sure why. Uh, let's send it back. We'll render him. There we go. So now we got one guy on the left who was doing, who was going really, really high. And the other guy is low. So now we oh, can. He talks too much. That's the third nurse they killed this week. Why do they want 3,000 of them? Should just to quickly be able to get those guys out of each other's mics. That's a way to do it. Um, let's go over to uh, my brother's band, Soul Scratch, a great soul band. Um, if anybody knows of Formosa Group, he's also the director of operations there. Um, let's take our trumpet and our sax tracks. 
So this is the that's the sax. You can hear that there's trumpet in there as well. If you listen to the trumpet, you can hear that there's some sack. So now what I'd like to do is get rid of the sax from the trumpet part. So let's go ahead and let's bring up our, our connect. Let's send over those pieces. Okay, there it is. The... Uh, do clip, oh, let's do clip by clip. And again, it's really, really fun, I think, to look at music in RX. In the spectrogram, it looks so cool. So on the left-hand side, this is our trumpet. On the right-hand side, Pro Tools 2, this is our, our sax. So what I want to do is I want to, in Pro Tools 1, get rid of the sax. So we're learning Pro Tools 2. Now we're going to apply it. And you can see these lines right here, that's the, that's the sax line, that's the trumpet, and you'll visually see them go away. Boom. And here's the trumpet. Well, I tried. <laughs> there it is with the sax. And then back to the bleed. And also, if just one other note, too, my brother's got some pretty good pitch. I mean, look at that, dude. Those things, that is on it. That guy's awesome. <laughs>